So we're going to start actually finding some volume plugs and building up just for a handful of these different sections here and kind of getting ready to do it. Uh, probably the most important thing to start out with the volume is I always say that remember that volume is if you're filling something up with water. It's the amount of water that would fit on the inside of that shape. Okay, now the good news is we don't really have to figure out um, we used to have to be surface area or volume. Now it's just volume. So we don't have to think about what to actually do, whether it's one or the other. All right, but that's the thing to think about. You're filling it up full of water, how much water will fit in there. Okay, so a couple of tips as we go through here. All right, before you start on any volume, make sure all dimensions are in the same units. Okay, and look at the answer if it says it wants to have the volume in feet, change everything to feet. All right, so think about that. The biggest, oh, it says that right here, sorry. Look in the question for what units are feet of the problem meaning what's the answer gonna be, all right? This is important. Don't try to convert units after you find the volume. It's not going to work, all right? Convert dimensions, all right? So convert dimensions only. Okay, converting volumes does not work the same. Okay, you don't just do one foot to 12 inches and then cubic feet on top and inches on the bottom. It doesn't work that way. You will get all of those questions wrong. Okay, convert units only. If you get to the end and realize you didn't convert the units, you got to go back and start again. All right, super, super important. You get these volumes or these volumes, these formulas right here, okay, which is all of the volume formulas you need. All right, it's got a capital B in there. And in the next video, I'll talk about what the capital B means. We've already talked about it, but I'll make sure I remind you. All right, but my last piece of advice here is make sure you get the right formula, okay? It's so foolish sometimes when somebody has a cone sitting right there staring at them and they decide to use the cylinder formula or the sphere formula, okay? Take your time. Make sure you have the right formula before you start out the problem.